Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are at Monica and Nick's house, one for an update tour, mm -hmm. because I haven't even seen it since the lawn grew in. And I'm just excited yeah. to see how the raised beds look, how your plants look. It's I'm been excited. a while. And yeah. I just wanted to be able to show you guys and myself <laughs> what it looks like at the end of the season yeah. after such an overhaul uh, project that we did this spring, which yeah. I'll explain and we'll do, we'll harken back and show you some video from before of what it looked like. But also I brought some perennials and a trellis mm -hmm. and a oh, couple of <laughs> and a couple of things that gardener supply sent out for monica and nick to use in their garden so, so nice. first off i did want to show you these pretty uh, hydrangeas i'm not sure that i actually showed the front yard in prior videos but oh, there yeah. was like potentias right or yeah they had just put stuff in here the people that built the, uh, the company that built the house and there was fi two fine lines right in front of the windows oh lovely and um yellow potentias and you know it was kind of sad to take them out by the second year because they were starting to look pretty but mm -hmm. i i wanted something different but you're so. right i mean fine lines in front of the windows that's a type of buckthorn mm -hmm. and they would totally block they would windows. block the window and potentias i do think they're sweet little flowers mm -hmm. and they're pretty but they're just not my favorite thing and then in this little strip they put um, little four inch gallardias and blue grasses that I am now picking. Oh, they're already seeded in there? Oh blue my gosh. From them doing that. Aaron will probably be so proud of you for pulling those. He's not a fan of the blue grasses. Oh, I, you know, I think they're pretty, but I, they, it just looked so dinky having these four inch plants. So we did Julia Jane boxwoods. I might eventually, since they're not gonna get huge put one in or something else it's in between. nice though because you can walk through it's like well, a little walkway nick likes it that he can get out of his truck easily yeah you know for so, sure might just so keep it. back to the hydrangeas what variety are these uh those are little quick fires oh they're so pretty i love them i like how their panicles are a little bit more open i do too like that. a little I do bit more structural. it's dreamy or yeah, something yeah yeah they're they're a little funky looking with their shape like nick's like the, they he's like they're such a funny shape i'm like just give them a couple years they'll yeah. fill in yeah They'll be fine. They look great. Okay, now yeah. take us down. Okay. Take us, let's go. Take us back. <laughs> we gotta see this. All right, excuse the uh, yellow buckets, but those are full of dirt that I couldn't lift. Oh, well, we all have those kind of buckets hanging yeah. out. This is the deepest gravel in all the land. <laughs> I know, we got, <laughs> Nick and I did this and we got a little carried away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it already looks so pretty, even from here. Whoop, whoop, go look at the me. path. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Oh, I and love those it. begonias. I love it. Oh, we're going to take this in slow. Oh, cute heavenly it. music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Look at the grass, Monica. Do you love this? Oh my gosh. I yeah, And this is the first time Nick mowed it this morning, and this is the first time I've seen it mowed. And it just, oh. <laughs> You know, first year grass is always tough because yeah. you know, you're gonna always deal with some broadleafs. Yeah. And you know, we hand pulled a lot of ours. I've been doing that too. Have you too? been doing that? Yeah, because you know, believe you, me, this was a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, you eventually get on top of it. Yeah. And this is a small enough space where it shouldn't, you know, be too bad. Yeah, yeah. But okay, I gotta start back at the beginning again. Mostly because I missed this right here. And this is such a huge piece of the landscape. Nick built this. And does he have plans, like a link to the plans? I remember that being a common question and I never could find it. We do have a link, although he changed oh, did he change stuff? stuff quite a bit just to fit what we wanted. Yeah. But I do have a link to the original plan. So I'll try to remember to get that link and put it down below. So, you know, you do have to make adjustments oftentimes if you're building something to, you know, custom fit an area. But I think this looks so great and I love the black stain on it. And you've got a couple of honeysuckles right here then those are just gonna fill this up so fast. They've already grown a tremendous amount since when we put them in. And they finally took off. They kind of stayed the same for uh -huh. like a month or two. And then boom, they just oh. grew in like a couple of weeks and <laughs> did that. And uh, you know, Pedro and his guys came in and they put in this pathway here uh, and just butted it right up to the patio, which made it feel like a bigger patio area. Yeah. I like that instead of trying to fit a walkway in here. And then, you know, mm -hmm. what do you do in the, interim do you do yeah. like a skinny little flower bed no oh yeah no <laughs> and now we just we're gonna fill it in with that um locking stuff yes sand mm -hmm. um which will be good because i spent i don't know how long weeding this the other oh, day no good yeah and and so and it was i had to like lift up rocks to get to them they're already coming back up. it just looks so phenomenal so let's take a look back really quick let's have a before shot of this space because what we were dealing with was a flower bed that started at the house and then just sloped down. And this isn't a tremendously deep backyard, so it was quite a slope. And, you know, I asked Monica and Nick what they wanted out of this space, and you guys said raised beds, a uh -huh. little bit of grass, uh -huh. and I think that was kind of the 
yeah the two things and I you wanted, wanted the arbor yeah you did want the arbor yeah so we made sure to work all of those things in but initially I thought we've got to handle this slope because if you want to have raised beds in this space it's going to be really hard I mean you can do it people do it all the time and they do a good job of it you know like doing raised beds at different levels and you know leveling out a space and then doing a cut down and doing another one but just kind of wanted that like cozy feel mm -hmm. so Pedro and his crew came in they built oh, oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my word! That'll only go off for like five to ten minutes. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll get a, we'll get to uh, see it all nice and saturated. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sprinklers are going. So they came in. They built up this area. In fact, um, as they were leveling this bottom part, they would use the soil and they would come and backfill uh, behind the rocks. And we went and picked out some stairs. So there's three stairs on this side, and two stairs here because the level does change a little bit and then there's one stair over on the other side. But mm -hmm. what that did was created that sunken garden feel and it just, it made your space feel so much bigger. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much bigger yeah. it seems. And I see you're taking the no trim approach to your tomatoes like me. Well, yeah, <laughs> one of them has completely fallen down. Oh really? The one over there, if you go over there, like the ground behind those last back two is completely covered with tomato plant. Oh. Lovely. Well, we're going to take a look through here. Maybe we'll let the uh, grass sprinklers run their course. Yeah, I'm sorry. For I forgot those. Were, I didn't realize those were going to go off. That's fine. Right now. You know what? This would be a great time to unload the truck. We'll go get all the plants out. Perfect. The trellis out, and that way we'll have that part ready. Okay, first off, Monica Gardner Supply sent you out a oh, how really cute. cushy mat. Oh, and these are nice. Isn't that nice? Yes. I've been real tempted to use it. Oh, well, that's, that's so sweet. <laughs> and then they sent, also sent you out a trowel. Oh, how not, oh, Brand that's new one. nice. Yeah. Oh, Nick will like that. He likes this kind of grip oh, perfect. on things. And having the little saw. Yeah. Oh, how sweet. Oh my, the plants didn't ride super well. I had to slam on my brakes oh. once <laughs> on the way over. These are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? So Magic Show Purple Illusion Veronica. Oh. And then we've got some uh, oh. Fun and Games Capture the Flag Hookerella. I love that. Isn't oh, that man. so pretty? And these yeah. will shoot up stalks with white flowers in the spring. Here, I'll get my cart. Oh, that would be helpful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so pretty. I know I was excited when they arrived yesterday when they had blooms on them. Yeah. That's always fun. Oh, they just arrived yesterday? Uh-huh. No, what, they look oh. so fresh. I was like, I'm missing some. They're oh. way up there, dang it. <laughs> oh, look how pretty the trellis Isn't is. Isn't the trellis beautiful? Oh. It's a gothic arch wall trellis, I think is what it's called. Yeah, that's Gardeners. the one we wanted. Yep. That kind of matches the um, arbor. Oh. I've been planting all day, so this is just an extension of oh. what I've been doing. <laughs> I handle stuff like this all the time. Yep. Okay. I'll leave this right here for now. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to do a one big one of daffodils. Nice. Okay. Let's go get the trellis. Okay. I got to say, I'm really happy that we're not building raised beds today. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> we're digging a million holes. Yeah. Let's just go set this where it's going to go. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty right oh, there. It's beautiful. And there's uh, clematis right below it. What color is that one? It's Blue. a purple that a has purple. a dark purple stripe. So purple with dark purple stripe with the purple butterfly bush right here. Mm -hmm. And then these are a red daylily that one of you guys sent out to Monica. Yeah, it was so sweet. They came in like little starts and look they at look how great. Yeah. And that'll look pretty right in front of the purple color. Yeah. And then these are the Anic rose. Yes, they're so pink. Pink, and then there's the Jacobson pine. I have already cut this back once. The rhubarb. I'm gonna try not to shadow everything here. It was like like up to here, and I cut it completely back to the ground, and this was like a couple weeks later. Oh my goodness. It's and a really pretty texture. This is this is suffering. I it, <laughs> it suffers. This suffers. Yeah. You know, Tickle Creek white bark birch, it looks like I already felt um, around just a minute ago in the uh, soil. It yeah. feels plenty wet. Did it suffer from any kind of bug this year? We actually wondered if it had mites at one point. Oh, really? But then suddenly I didn't see signs of them anymore, so I didn't spray it. Mm -hmm. Might have been a mistake, so I'm just hoping it'll bounce back next year. Yeah, it'll probably do that. Okay, guys, so the water has turned off again, so we can uh, continue our tour. But look at it from this direction. 
the rock walls just added so much. Look at our little volunteer. Oh, that is cute. Out of the rocks. Yeah, I couldn't. Oh my gosh. I couldn't bear to pull it. Oh. So you guys, this uh, trellis right here, they are going to be putting it on the wall. I think Nick wanted to do that. Yeah. So we'll uh, just leave the wall brackets yeah. and you guys can handle it. Yeah, we can do that later. But that is beautiful right there. I love it. And I love that the shape of these matches, sort of, yeah. the shape of these. It's very similar, yeah. you know? So I think that's a really good look. The source of our hot sauce. Habaneros. And the Caribbean Red Hots. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I see some great big tomatoes coming out of this one right here. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> and look at, look at it. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed <laughs> about having to like, what do I do with it? I to start cutting it back. Yeah. What you need to do is bring Nick's truck and just cut them all back, put them in the truck and bring them to my house. Oh Bethany yeah. Bethany will feed them to her pigs. There that you way you don't have to put them in your, yeah, I mean, that'll be I was kind of thinking I was just going to have to fill big like yard bags uh -huh. and just throw them away as we had room uh -huh. because what else are we going to do? Yeah. We're going to just sneak back here though, real quick, <laughs> <laughs> just to take a look at the lilac. There's a lilac there. Is that what color? Uh, is that's that a white, the white one? one? And then there's three North Pole Arbs and then there's a purple lilac right there. Mm -hmm. So the lilac here will kind of create an arch over this area and then this one will be kind of this way and there'll be three spires in the back. It's going to look so great. And then looking back this way, do you, after using this for a season, do you like having the open space or do you think you're going to put something there? Oh, I think I'd like to put something there. I don't yeah. think that it was necessary to really, like at first I thought, well, maybe it'd be nice and it'd make it easier, mm -hmm. but there's no, I, I would like, I would love like a little skinny fountain. Yeah. Like a little, little bowl that has like a little, maybe a mini double or triple tier yeah. something that makes pretty noise. Yeah. That would be really cute yeah. right here. Especially with all your bird feeders too. It'd be really fun. We get I mean, so many birds back here. You've got here. that bird bath, which they, they do like, I'm sure. But it'd be yeah. nice to have some moving water back here. Yeah. So in this bed, there's a tomato and a massive basil plant. This is two basils and one purple basil. Oh. This is the amazel basil. Yes. And it is. I've, I've already made pesto to freeze. Oh, look. Oh my. Yep. There it is. Just chilling. Oh, I, that's, that makes me excited. That's the first one I've seen this year. Yeah. Cucumbers. <laughs> Care for a cucumber? <laughs> well, my chickens would love that. Eggplant. There's a Roma tomato right here. I mean, clearly everything is liking the raised bed mix that we put in here, which is nice. So I haven't fertilized it once. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. we did the raised bed mix, and then I think we did, did we do Biotone Starter Fertilizer in, in them? I can't remember. I don't think we did. Oh, I think we, we just, just put it right in the raised bed. Fresh raised bed mix yeah. does a trick. Yeah, so I'll probably need to put something in it next year. The roses are starting to grow up the trellis, mm -hmm. or the arbor, rather. And then the boxwoods here will create a nice hedge, so that will be like a shorn, shorn, is that a word? Shorn yeah hedge yeah. very nice tight hedge yeah uh, eventually and then let's take a look oh i love the lines over here i really like how it all ended up yeah. this is a, a weeping a weeping cherry cherry there's a spirea echinacea yeah so there's three of the sombrero lemon yellow okay this one's about done yeah. i need to cut Getting those close. back but oh the cutest little weeping blue spruce yeah right there that's a sesters blue is that no 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 that's just a that. <laughs> bushes lace. Bushes lace, Engelman spruce. Yeah. Gotcha. There's a Clarence Iris right there. Yeah. It's like a mauvey. It's actually kinda... a beautiful double purple. It's oh, lavender, purple. like a lavender purple and a dark purple mix. Oh. And then the other one is, um, I think just purple. Okay. Just plain purple. Gotcha. There's a barberry there. That's a Concord, right? It is. Okay. And then there's a little baby for, for Scythia. That, this was another thing that was kind of struggling. I don't know if it got too wet, if it got hit. Don't feel bad because all of my forsythias kind of just like melt and die. Oh, really? I had one take out of oh. all the forsythias I've planted. I thought that might be something I have to replace. And then the there are, is um, phlox in here, mm -hmm. but it's already all cut back because mm -hmm. it was done. So we might be planting some hookerellas back in here. Yeah. We'll see. This and then, area stays very shady, okay. all of this ground. It would look beautiful. They'd be beautiful right here too. There's a Twombly's Red Sentinel Maple. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the Ivory Halo Dogwood. These are winter berries, right? Winter berries. And this one, so I just have to get a little more water to these. They've kind of started to, this is the one that gets the best water. That's push, they're all pushing new growth. Yeah. I see new growth So they're pushing of out of it. They were, they were looking kind of, they were struggling mm -hmm. a little bit, but they're doing good. And this, this pine, I'm really happy. That is that an angel is something? A blue angel. Blue angel. Mm-hmm. Blue pine. angel, white pine. Nice. And then an easy spirit rose. I couldn't resist oh, that one. That's pretty. Look how pretty they are. And, and it smells good. And then turning the corner here, these are the surefire red begonias. You came and got these from us, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I'm amazed. They look <laughs> they look good and they get 
well, you can see they get full sun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also the boxwood cones right there. Okay, so that's the update tour on how it's looking. You guys have done a really good job. Thank you. It looks really good. And these are going to be so beautiful. Oh, it's, oh, I can't. That so what do you so think? Funny. What were you thinking for these? So those, I was thinking. Let's go set them in a couple spots. See what you think. Yeah. Well, um, I don't have anything back here yet. Okay, do you want something tall? Well, you've got a flox right where your foot is. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose even like kind of, would those, how tall do those get? Uh, 16 to 18. So not so. very, not very tall. I wonder if they would need to go like in front right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I think what we're gonna do is just move these plants around and talk through some of the options. We'll get them planted and then I'll show you guys. Okay, we got them all in and we ended up planting four of the Veronica and five of the Hookerella. Starting right here, one of the Veronica, just a single plant right here because it's just a really sweet purple accent and it looks beautiful up against those rocks. And then two of the Hookerella at the base of the Japanese maple. And then as you swing to the left, the other three Hookerella behind the serviceberry tree. So, you know, when this kind of fills back in, there's the white phlox. These will be just a nice, soft, fluffy accent back there. I think that's gonna be really pretty. And then the other three Veronica ended up at the base of the cherry tree, right next to the yellow echinacea. That's gonna be a beautiful pairing. Oh, I love it, love it. And just sitting here on the rock wall, you can see the trellis over there that really just helps bridge the gap between the windows. It just feels like a little oasis and I'm just so happy with the outcome. There's four birds on your feeder. They were waiting just down the way on the neighbor's fence. Oh, <laughs> they clean those feeders in like less than a week. Really? I, we have to refill them. That's so fun. Yeah. I just showed everybody where the plants ended up. Oh, good. Yeah. So pretty. I love it. The breeze is getting to be a little much. <laughs> a little much. But, uh, after living with this space for the season, what's your favorite part? Oh, oh that's hard to say. I love the raised beds. Yeah. Just because I've had so much fun with the stuff I've been growing in them. Mm -hmm. So I love that. And um, I love the like look of looking out here, the bump outs and seeing the mm -hmm. color because that's what I see the most from yeah. the kitchen. Right. And gosh, it's hard to say. I love the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just love having such a pretty yard. Oh, well, it's so fun. <laughs> and the best part about coming over this way to do a project is we get to go out to dinner. Yes. So we're going to go have some Thai food right now and enjoy the rest of our evening. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour, kind of a end of season update on how things are going in this space. And who knows, maybe even next year we can come back and do another project of some oh, kind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll think of something awesome. Maybe we'll do a fountain project of some kind. Oh, yes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video. Bye.